This is a review of the Yongnuo YN300 LED light, a very small, lightweight unit that could easily be used as a camera top light, or it could be put on a stand and used as a key or a fill. Here it is. You can see it has barn doors on the front and the 300 LEDs underneath. On the side here, a little slot, which allows you to slot in these supplied filters, either various colors if you want to do effects, or a plain diffusion filter, which just goes in like that and then adds a little bit, not a great amount of diffusion to the lights. Obviously being so close to the LEDs, there's not a lot of diffusion effect. It would be better if the diffuser were sort of out here a bit, then the light would have a chance to scatter a bit before it hit the diffuser. But it's, it's better than nothing. On the back, there is the battery compartment. It's powered by a normal Sony NPF battery, which just goes in the slot fairly obviously like that. Clip it on, then there's a switch here to turn the light on, also to vary the brightness from full intensity down to about 10 or 20%. The colour temperature of the light is not adjustable except by adding filters, but the intensity is. You switch it on here, and uh, in fact I'll show you how that goes. So from that is I think full intensity, which obviously won't come out properly in the video because it's daylight that we're shooting in. Uh, but you can see the lights are on and if I turn the light the other way, turn the knob the other way, there we go, down to about 10% of intensity and back up again to full. Now again, looking on the back here, there's a little series of green LEDs. As you turn the light up and down, they go up and down to indicate how uh, strong you're making the light. But also, it's got an odd little function here. This button here toggles it between manual and automatic. When you click auto, the light itself tries to work out how much light you might need. This here is a little light sensor. And when you cover it up, um, the light thinks it's very dark and it turns the light up. When you let it go, it thinks it's light and it turns the light down. So the light is trying to adjust itself to how much intensity you might need. Um, I'm very unlikely to use that function. I think I would rather keep it on manual and then use the dial myself to dial in the intensity of the light I want. I think that's about it. Obviously, you can't really see what the light is like just by me holding it here. So I will now take it upstairs uh, to the edit suite, point it at myself, and you can see what it's like in action. So here I am in the tube shooter edit suite, and I'm being illuminated from just above me and to the right by the Yongnuo 300 LED light. It's on full intensity, though I have put a bit of homemade diffusion in front of it, basically some tracing paper, which I happen to have to hand. I've paper clipped it to the barn doors. So it's spreading the light out a bit, making it little, look a little bit better, and also, of course, taking the intensity down a bit. But I don't think it's doing a half bad job. If you look behind me, of course, you can see outside, you can see the detail on the trees. Had the Yongno not been putting out enough illumination, I'd have had to turn the exposure up on the camera and then the windows would probably have gone completely whited out. As it is, we've got quite a nice balance. So what I'm going to do now is just turn the light off and you can see how much a difference it's making to the scene. So this is what it looks like with the Yongno light turned off. I am completely silhouetted against outside. The other option, of course, would be for me to now turn the exposure up on the camera so that I'm exposed correctly. But of course, the light outside would then be completely blinding. So let me show you what that looks like. So here we are with the Yongno light switched off. The camera's at f2.2, but with 20 dB of gain brought in, and I'm still not properly exposed, of course, a little bit bright on this side where there's daylight coming in from behind me, the rest of my face still a little bit dark, and the window behind completely whited out. You can't see anything at all, which goes to show, I think, that the Yongno light is certainly very, very powerful, and it can balance an interviewee against a daylight background. So if you find yourself in that situation, the light will certainly be of use. What I'm going to do now is just put it back the way it was, and you can see it again for comparison. So now the Yongno light is switched back on again. The camera's at f3.7 with zero dB gain. And once again, we can see the background behind me properly as it's meant to be. I should point out, I haven't got any other lights on at the moment. There's no fill light coming in to match this side of me. Uh, there's no backlight behind me to perhaps bring out my head from the loudspeaker behind me. I just wanted to show you what this one light looks like, looks like when it's working. And I think it's doing a pretty good job. And I hope you found the video useful and uh, if you did, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much.